Welcome back to Performance TV, where we like to keep things charged up. And Martin with us from Stark Power. Martin, you have a pretty interesting background that led you to these really cool lithium batteries. Yes, um, my introduction to lithium batteries was back in college. But at a time, the most advanced batteries were silver zinc batteries. And as a, as a college project, we entered this race across Australia called the World Trailer Challenge, a race a car across the Outback 2,000 mile race. Yeah, that's no short race. But with the silver zinc batteries, only has a couple cycles. We had an awful experience with them and pretty much um, came in in 25th place. Oh, man. And on top of it, it's not just our team. It was like representing the United States. Well, you know, sometimes the bad things lead into some really good things, and that's what happened in your case here in developing your line of lithium batteries. The lithium batteries have been around in components for um, many years. Everybody's familiar with them. They're in their laptops, iPods, everything. But those are designed into those, those types of products. What makes our batteries different is the circuit board inside this one on a product line is the balancing board that allows the cells to balance to maximize the performance of the batteries and longevity of the batteries. Now this is something though that with other ones you would have to buy something separate. That is correct. Um, the other competitor companies are offering expensive balancing chargers and our product has everything included. On top of that we're even providing you a free um, battery tender charger with the starter batteries that we're providing. Wow I love that and if you thought that was cool when you take the step up to what I would have to call a very, very smart battery. So this is our trophy line on the Ultra Start product line. It has a circuit board that basically cuts off your battery to prevent the battery from discharging too low. And then on top of it, if you were to come back after you left your light on, you can key cycle your vehicle and then it recognizes a key cycle and it releases energy again to start up your vehicle. Martin, what about the four posts here? Yes, the four posts allows easy access to put the batteries in, especially if you like short cables. And then to avoid inventory, you can simply swap around the battery and then reconnect the terminals at that point. Oh yeah, it makes it so much more universal. Yeah, the, guys, I got the battery out of this Ninja we got over here. One of the advantages I see right now already is the weight. I mean, this battery's heavy. The one we're gonna put in is light, super light. It's gonna help the thing run better just by being a lighter vehicle. I mean, we're talking over 10 pounds here on this one. Right. A little over a pound and a half on pound this. and a half plus this battery's not smart no this one's a smart one i'll tell you what i can't wait to get this thing put in kathy have him tell you about the power packs he's got yeah what what do we have going on here martin well these are two products this is our, our jump box from stark power it um, pretty much starts up any basic truck that you have and it's a very simple process just clamp it on and it's a very light lithium phosphate um, battery product and then we also have a smaller product that also can start up on vehicles, but on top of it, it has a, a neat function that you can like plug into your USB port. Oh, it's just kind of just like a bonus. Yeah, a little bonus. Okay, so if I have something like this and I have it in the glove compartment or the center console of my car, how long is it gonna last? This will last uh, multiple years in your glove compartment without having a charge, and that's where a lead acid battery will have the limitation that it will discharge itself over a couple months, and you can leave this in your glove compartment for many months as an as emergency base. Um, to charge up. It also has a light function. <laughs> what do you know? It's then, even got um, a flashlight. If you ever need some emergency SOS help. I think I may need to keep that around. Sometimes Tommy makes me panic. I may need to use that. All the neat things about these Stark power batteries is, you know, they last two or three times longer. It's lightweight, but it's a direct replacement. I mean, they're universal. They got four posts. You can put them in almost any, any vehicle you want to put them in with the cables and all that. Got this one in here. Got it all tightened back up. Goes right back in where the other one was. Put this bracket back on that holds the battery in place and we'll fire this thing up. It's really simple, but it's the smart technology in there that uh, really impresses me. And I'm gonna show you the neat thing about this one here. When you leave your lights on, leave a switch on, leave your glove heaters on on your bike, this thing will shut itself off after a while and then it'll start right back up because it reserves the power to start the vehicle. There, all back in, stock location, everything's wired back up, simple. Here we go. Fires right off. Now, I'm gonna leave this key on. We're gonna show you how smart this battery is. Leave it on for a while, let everything run down, come back, cycle the key, it'll fire right up again. All right, well, what Tommy did over there was pretty cool, but this Cobra, Martin, she needs some help. She's got a dead battery. Let's throw that Stark Power jump box on there. See if we can fire this thing up. All right, we are connected. Okay, we are connected. Here we go. And there you have it. You want to find out more, go to starkpower.com. We'll have more performance TV right after this.